Hello, my wonderful artists. Shh. Today, we're on a hunt, but not by ourselves. I want you to notice I have a friend with me today. This is Larry. Do you all remember Larry the Lime? He's here to help us hunt, but we're not looking for animals. We're looking for architectural elements. So this week, our theme is architecture. You should have gotten a printout of architectural elements that you can look for in your own neighborhood. Take that sheet with an adult and look around your neighborhood for different kinds of architectural elements and even some shapes, like a triangle, a square, or a circle. Good luck on your hunt. I hope you find lots of architectural elements. You ready, Larry? Okay, let's go. If you did not receive a copy of the Architectural Scavenger Hunt, you can find a link to a downloadable PDF in the description below. Many artists throughout the history of art have painted, drawn, and designed buildings, cities, maps, and even floor plans. Architecture is the profession of designing buildings, open areas, communities, and other constructions. This could include town planning and even landscape architecture. Some of the elements you see on your architecture scavenger hunt today would be things planned and designed by an architect. Frank Lloyd Wright is a famous architect and designed his buildings to fit with the environment and the location in which the building would be placed. A great example of this is Falling Water House. Falling Water House was built over a waterfall and Frank Lloyd Wright invented a cantilever which was a design that allowed him to stretch the house over the waterfall itself as if it was floating within that space. If you're interested in learning more about Frank Lloyd Wright and seeing a closer look of his falling water house, watch the videos in the description below. After your architecture scavenger hunt, it's now your turn to be the architect. You have many options. You could sit outside your home and draw your house and all the trees and plants around it using your skills and observation. You could design your dream house and include everything you wish you had, especially during this quarantine. You could draw a floor plan for your current home, include all the furniture and all the rooms. You could also draw a floor plan for your dream home. It's up to you. Whatever you decide to do though, make sure you photograph it and upload it to Artsonia so I can see it as well. Have fun creating!